time, field trip time, planner babes. We are gonna go into the lobbies of hobbies and see what we can find. I'm actually looking for one particular sticker book that I saw in a flip through on um, a page and I'm going to check to see what they have on the clearance section because that always wins me over. So, let's see what we can find. to $9.99 and it is on sale 50% off. Look at this. She's so pretty. $9.99 also. And then her. Oh, these are so cute. I think I'm going to grab one of these as a gift for someone who I want to work on. somewhere to put it. $300 and 50% off. It's a really, really nice mirror. And I love how they have it where you can actually turn it. That's really, really pretty. The site that I love to see. And stickers. And planners. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Let's see what they have. Hopefully something good that I can use. So I have not been in Hobby Lobby in forever, but I see that they have a new line called Work and Life, which is also disc bound. That's really cool. And it looks like they have sizes that complement both the classic and the large size Happy Planner. Oh, wait, no, it is Happy Planner. I didn't even see that. Until it's out, I missed it on the smaller one. The writing was so small. Okay, so this is like a more simplified design, I guess. And then you can just go ahead and create and make what you want. Love to see 50% off. Come in and check out some stickers. So excited. This is what I need to be getting. This one right here. Budget, baby. But 
where are all my sock lovers at i absolutely love socks with designs on them i have so many different pairs and i had no clue that they had this section at hobby lobby so i will definitely be grabbing some in the future if anyone wants to give me a gift that i will truly enjoy let it be wonderful socks with cute pictures <laughs> Shout out to all my 80s and 90s babies. I know you see those scrunchies down there on that bottom row. I love me a good scrunchie still to this day. Not really bad. Pretend bad. I'm finding so much fun stuff. I absolutely love this. Oh, it is so me. And I love this one too. That's too cute. If I was a teacher, I would definitely have a little pencil quote right by the words. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I really, really like that. Because I am a big book collector. It's kind of like pressed. Um, cardboard for me. It's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting that. Beautiful bookcases. This door is just so awesome. I haven't been in here in so long and I'm just taking my time going through everything. Not rushed, not late. Just enjoying all of the fun. How cute is this Pokemon Grilled Cheese Maker? And that Dash Egg Maker is a go-to in our home. I absolutely love it. Perfect boiled eggs every time. No mistake. That is the tool or a gadget in your kitchen that you need if you eat eggs often. This section was one of the hardest sections for me to leave. I wanted to take home everything, <laughs> everything. This section featured a number of shows and movies that we all love and it was the cutest stuff. So I don't know if this stays around all year long, but definitely go to your Hobby Lobby and check it out if you see any of your favorite movies and let me know what you grab. That's super cute. This is the absolute perfect container to put a gift in if you have someone that is a gamer. They had a variety of colors. I believe there was red, black, green, and blue. Super, super cute. I would never drink out of it, so I'm not gonna buy it. But I want it so bad. Fruit is being featured everywhere right now and i am here for it i love it home decor stickers in the planner world uh kitchenware fruit 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 is on the forefront <laughs> and it is so awesome it's just so cute and fun when i saw this display i thought immediately pharrell happy and then i was like or old school jam frankie beverly and mace if you know then you know so I had a literal fight with myself right there in the aisle. <laughs> I wanted to take her home with me. It is such a pretty cup, but I do not need any more cups. I, I actually need to get rid of quite a few. That's the sound of someone knowing that if they bring another towel in this home or trinket, their husband is going to cut their credit card or better yet, I should say bank card in half. <laughs> I absolutely love everything with food on it. I am a super foodie. So as soon as I see food, I lose my mind. No sooner had I talked myself out of that towel, I turn around and see this. I mean, how can you resist? 
the cuteness of the plate or the bowl or the tray, one of them made it home with me. Which one do you think it was? I'll give you a hint. It can be used in multiple ways. Where are my brunch babes at? Do you see all of this brunchy goodness? So, so super cute. I stumbled across another end cap with more cups. When I say I hollered inside when I read that cup, I truly mean it. Hilarious. Petty alert. <laughs> Big petty. <laughs> I wasn't aware that they had such a nice puzzle selection, so I'll definitely be checking them out in the future. This was a nice thing to stumble across. It's always fun when you can just run in the store and grab a puzzle versus having to order one online and wait for it to come. 
since I was a kid, I have always been obsessed with play food. I always used to go to the craft store with my mom and ask her to buy me the little miniature play food for my Barbie doll. And I still, to this day, absolutely just love some play food. I also enjoyed those play food sets back in the 80s and 90s. I think it was like Fisher Price and they had the fake corning wear and all of that. I stayed with a play kitchen and a setup. No games. <laughs> I've had my eye on the Reese with the lemons for probably about a year now and last year it kind of just slipped my mind and I never went back to the idea of making one but now I'm going to make sure that I make one for the summer and I will definitely have to post a video when I do that. I grabbed a few stems yesterday and I'm really excited to get started on that project. I took a step back so I could make sure I saw everything and I'm glad I did because I had missed the eggplant the first time. So I don't know how all this stuff got in my car. I don't know what happened. All I know is I was going to look for a sticker book and see if there was maybe a thing or two on clearance that I wanted to grab. Bobby's a Bobby to pour on my money. Pour on my monies peanut butter and jelly <laughs> ramen with an egg on the side for the next five years no I'm just playing but I did really find some nice stuff oh look at the clouds it's so beautiful today that is so picturesque wow I just love sometimes just taking a second and looking at nature like it's so beautiful I just take a second to breathe and take all of that in It's just so pretty. All right. So now, um, I was supposed to go to a couple other craft stores. I'm gonna go just to go for the fun of it. But I ain't buying nothing. <laughs> warranty Mikael and my ears. If you have ever seen that video, please comment below. It is hilarious. It's this little boy in this terrible little granny wig. And he is dressed up like Michael Myers. And whomever is filming him is like, you not Michael Myers, you look like Mikael and my ears. <laughs> it is hilarious. All I had to see was this. I love the 90s. Now I gotta look at this, and I love these stickers. They're so cute. Aww. I actually have some more of these stickers at home. A smaller pack that they had when they first came out. Oh boy. So now my husband is home as I'm editing this and he is absolutely making this outro terrible. Thank you guys for joining me on our field trip to the hobbies of lobbies, lobbies of hobbies. I enjoyed checking out the store and everything that they had to offer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next store adventure. Bye.